Good morning, it's Michelle. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel, my page, wherever you're watching this video. It is the 3rd of October. I can't believe we're in October already. The time is just flying this year. Um, hope you had a good weekend. Uh, it was a very reflective weekend, wasn't it? So today, what are we focusing on? Well, we're in the post-shadow uh, retrograde of Mercury at the moment. And what this means is you're just going to be looking back over what you've learned, what you've grown from, what happened in September, what you've changed, what you still need to change. Because under the post um, energy, you still have a couple of weeks to actually go over anything that still needs looking at or something you may have been avoiding. Remember, when we do this deep inner work, that's when we grow, when we heal, when we change. If you're not prepared to look at your old stuff, because everything that happens to us is, is giving us that opportunity to heal and grow and move forward. So it's really important to be brave sometimes and look back and do that inner work. I've made a list here, what have I put? Uh, yeah, so giving us chances to explore anything that we didn't look at in Mercury Retrograde because you may have had a lot of things that you wanted to work with and some may well have got overlooked and as I said, some of them we may have avoided. So the next two weeks gives you a little bit of an overview time to see what still needs to be looked at, healed or changed. Um, but also this is a time where you need to see tap yourself on the back and go well done because it doesn't matter if you've done everything or if right now you're not ready to look at all of the stuff that you know that you need to because it may be too painful but you've taken one or two things and you've sorted them or peeled back a layer then congratulate yourself well done well done so you know you do this work at your own pace you know, we're given all these planetary, um, planetary sort of holding energy for us to do this work. And Mercury retrograde is one of the big ones because it takes us back. Even if we don't want to, it will take us back. So we now have six weeks. We've just had six weeks of the Mercury retrograde. And so now we are looking at what we've grown from, what we've healed, what, what layers we've healed, what we've changed in our lives. Uh, so the next opportunity to do this deep work of the past is in December when we have the next Mercury retrograde. So anything you feel that you can't look at at the moment for whatever reason, and that's okay, you still have, you always have opportunities daily, but under the Mercury retrograde energy, it is much easier to do. So that's in December, and we're, we'll talk about that when we get there, because we've got a few months yet, haven't we? So that's where we're at at the moment so we're reflecting we're congratulating ourselves we're just doing an overview of or an itinerary inventory whatever you want to call it of your life and what you need to heal and grow from and change that's all we're doing today i say that's all it's huge <laughs> so but you know please be gentle with yourself and only do what you're ready to do okay those of you that come and have healing sessions with me readings or homeopathy you know you I always say to you tell me as much as you're ready to tell me the more information I have the more I'm able to help you but at your own pace and in your own time and that's my always say that to everybody okay you're not coming here with me to push 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 I'm just holding the space for you and reflecting back to you what you may want to look at and what layers coming up for you for us to work with. So it's at your own pace. You're never pushed into anything you don't want to do. So let's see. What card does Metatron have for us today on the third? I'm pulling from the... Oh, can't see that very well. It's my ring light. It's from the light uh, Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell. I hope you can be able to see the card when I pulled it. So what guidance Metatron have you got today for us, please? Right, here we go. Oh, boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? There we go. So, what are you saying yes to that you don't really want to say yes to? 
What are you know knowing? What are you saying no to? Can't get my words out this morning. Um, that you feel that really, if you think about it, you're being a bit too boundary, too too firm uh, with people around you or situations. Remember, boundaries are flexible. You can change them every day. They don't have to be cast in stone. So look at your boundaries today. Where are you giving your power away to another? What conversations do you need to have so that you can place these boundaries in place so that you can feel safe, you can feel strong, you can feel nurtured? And also, just dropped in there, is making sure you're respecting other people's boundaries. So if they're saying no, don't keep going back to them in a different way, a different tactic to get your own way. If they are saying no, they're saying no for a reason. And it's really important that you honour other people's boundaries, even if you don't necessarily agree with them. They are entitled to feel safe. They're entitled to say yes or no to what they want in their life, because that's where we have control. We have control on what we bring into our lives and what we don't. And boundaries is the way we do it. If you haven't put boundaries in place or very few, you are going to get people pushing back because it's like suddenly it's like, oh, she doesn't normally say no to me. So when you start to put boundaries in your life where there hasn't been, people will push back and you have to stay strong and revisit the boundary every day. Because what is a no today may be a yes tomorrow and vice versa. So I'm going to leave you with boundaries today. It's a very, very strong lesson to learn and not always an easy one. But it is there to keep you safe, protected and allowing what you want into your life and stopping that that you don't. So have a fantastic day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.